Hi, this is Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com and today I'm going to be repairing a voice board of an Oberheim OB8. A customer sent just the voice board. Uh, it's a lot easier to send just a voice board than a whole big bulky OB8. Uh, so I have an OB8 here and then I can repair it without the rest of his keyboard. And uh, the problem that he's having is that uh, voice 3 or 7 um, depending on which way the board board is installed, uh, isn't isn't tracking, um, and uh, yeah, for both oscillators, and uh, he said that the person that he got it from had made a slip of the soldering iron and destroyed some traces, um, but for whatever reason they changed this capacitor here, um, and this is the uh, the sample and hold. Uh, capacitor for the control voltage going in to uh, to that that voice card or that voice section. So why this person was was changing this capacitor in the first place, uh, you know, is 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 kind of beyond me. They said that it was working before they made that slip. So not quite sure what's going on, but. <clears throat> We're going to uh, start by repairing the damaged traces and uh, replacing this capacitor um, with a proper polystyrene capacitor. Um, a mylar capacitor doesn't have the low leakage properties that polystyrene does. I mean, there's other possible substitutes that would be just as good as polystyrene, but uh, mylar is not one of them. So we're going to change this capacitor with a new one and um, we're going to repair the traces and then we're going to test this out and see if if just this capacitor really was the reason why this uh, this voice isn't working or if there's some deeper rooted underlying uh, problem. So there does appear to be a, uh, a damaged trace here on the bottom of the board. Uh, this is on one of the polystyrene capacitors um, and you can see uh, this this trace here is cut. Um, this one, uh, I did measure continuity uh, between the capacitor there and the IC it goes to, but this one, there's a definite break there. So we're going to uh, to repair that and change the, uh, the other capacitor. And with the uh, old capacitor off, this one on the bottom, I can see that it's not even the correct capacitance. So it's marked 103. Uh, which is 0 0.01 microfarads and uh, the correct capacitance for that capacitor is 0 0.022. So <clears throat> not only is it the wrong type, but it's the wrong value. So we're going to put um, the correct capacitor in its place. So I put in the new capacitor and uh, the way I solve the broken trace is I solder a jumper wire and uh, now there's continuity there and we're ready to test this out in the keyboard. So previously the uh, <clears throat> this one particular oscillator couldn't be couldn't be calibrated presumably using the uh, the built-in calibration procedure uh, but now it now it can so I'm, right now I'm looking at one that was working before and I've got uh, oscillator one this is oscillator one's calibration and it's uh, calibrated and oscillator two is calibrated and uh, I made adjustments to uh, oscillator uh, voice card uh, 7 here so now I've got the gate light turned on for that and uh, oscillator 2 is calibrated and oscillator 1 is calibrated and I verified this for uh, for all of the uh, the voices on this card so I took it off of uh, test calibration mode and we'll auto-tune and it's going to cycle through the voices here voices 1 to 4 are on my voice board 5 to 8 are on the voice board that uh, my customer sent in and uh, oops. one of them sounds a little hotter than the others Actually, it's uh, my board sounds a little hotter than the customer's board, but they are in tune. And they are scaling. So the voice board is repaired and ready to go home. This has been your buddy Synth Chaser from SynthChaser.com. If you've got a vintage synthesizer that has a problem uh, and you want me to repair it, you may not need to send the whole thing. Um, 
Don't be put off by the fact that I am not local to you. I can still fix your keyboard. Just drop me a line through my website, synthchaser.com, and I'll take care of you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.